would like to thank you for the last um, presentation we made for the audience and the comments. I think before we go into the topic which Brother Hudson is going to decide, I'd like to reflect on my last presentation or debate or whatever you want to call it, which was with Shamsi. Now, some of you that stay to the end, you understood that I mentioned the proverb about wisdom, not putting your own opinion. So in order to clarify my statement with Shamsi, I'm going to actually ask Brother Hudson to just um, read the first surah, and this is uh, surah 34, yes. verse 12. But I'm not going to tell him to read the full surah because okay. it's not necessary. I'm going to ask you to read the tafsir and the line that talks about the flying carpet. From where it's highlighted? Yes, I've highlighted it yeah. ahead so it right made to the it end. easy. Yes. So that it would carry his carpet one way for a month, then back again the next month. Al Hassan al Basari said he set out from Damascus in the morning, landed in Iskatar, where he ate a meal, then flew on from Iskatar and spent the night in Kabil. So fantastic. So you see their fly um, carpet. Yeah. And if you look at the um, Surah 3412, if you just read, who mentions about this carpet? From highlight. Yes. We subjected the wind. So who is the we? Allah. Allah. Fantastic. Yeah. So now we say, we clarified that Allah said he subjected the wind. Now, I don't think Prophet Suleiman was Superman and had a cape and it was flying in the wind without, you know, <laughs> because that's just stretching the image. But in Islam, they can believe many crazy things. So I'll go into Surah 21, 28. We subject to the wind, it says. Now the tafsir says, and of everything, we are all Noah. He had a mat made of, of wood, which will place his equipment, his army. Allah says. So now I find this very troubling. Um, Shamsi did not agree and you are witness yeah. to it. So there is no clear cut from Quran or from a hadith to define what Suleiman used. However, the scholars who talk from the Israelites, like Wab Wab Nur Abbeh, was from the Israelites. He who said, Ibn Kathir is from Syria. Ibn Kathir was from Syria. Let me finish. He, he's going he, against he, the top he scholars the point. of Islam. He said, um, I should quote the Quran. Now, I've got the Quran. It says, we subject to the wind blowing forcefully. Now, I don't believe that Solomon was Superman. I know S does have the same um, emphasis, but it doesn't mean a superhero. So he used the wind to control something, which we can clarify from the tafsir. Now, I, want, I wanted to go into Surah 109 because I don't want to get distracted with the um, carpet issue mm. because the tafsir is very clear for you. It's Surah 21 to 81 and Surah 34, 34 12. Thank you. Now, when you go to tafsir, of the chapter 109 verses 1 to 6 or ayats 1 to 6 as the Muslims would say say O you who disbelieve I do not worship what you worship nor you do you worship that which I worship nor will I worship which you have been worshiping neither will you worship that which I worship to you your religion to me mine now to anybody that means that they don't worship the same God as us that's and right. I mean that's how you would interpret clearly, it clearly. clearly thank you now when you go into the tafsir, it gets to a specific, to the verse of neither will you worship what I worship. It means neither will you follow the commands of Allah. Now this is important that you guys hear. Now I've underlined this and his prescribed way of worship. Indeed, you have invented things for yourself as in his words. So now when I heard this, I felt, OK, so uh, is he accusing Ibn Kathir of being a, a, a disbeliever? by inventing words for Allah because we have seen from the tafsirs that Allah said these things mm. and I, that's why I started it. and of everything we are all known and mm. we know that that means Allah now to understand this furthermore we have to go to Quran 53:23, and this is the verse of mention and so he rejected their shirk for the messenger of Allah now why did he reject their shirk that is shirk now, this is what I accuse Shamsi of, mm. being an apostate. Yeah, now, yeah, that was yeah. the key that Shamsi did not listen. I told Shamsi, listen, yeah. listen. I'm saying things very basic. Now I'll show him where he committed shirk. And you have to go to Surah 5323, and I use the Yusuf Ali translation. Mm. I won't read the whole Surah to yeah, make sure. this very concise. They follow nothing but conjecture and what their own souls desire. This honesty of this gentleman. These gentlemen tell me there is a verse in the Quran. I'm waiting patiently thinking you know what maybe the quran i'm reading has been changed maybe he has a true quran and the verse is there 
He's bringing me Mufti Mank, <laughs> who me myself, there's a video of me refuting him that he's not a scholar of Islam. Conjecture in English means an opinion or conclusion based on the places, basis sorry, of incomplete information. Yes. Now, he did not want to use the tafsir as his information. He chose to use his own interpretation. I gave the scholar's account, who's a Mufti, the, I mean, he was a whole head of the Zimbabwe Islamic Court of Jurisprudence. He rejected it, so that was Shamsi using his opinion. So even though they had already come from guidance of their Lord, which is Allah, so Shamsi now had broken which comes into this Surah 109 definition, and so he rejected all their shirk, being because they did refuse the guidance of Allah. So Shamsi, I've accused you of being shirk, and I want you to come and debate, and I'm going to prove it by Surah 17.1, the Al Isra journey where Muhammad says he went to Jerusalem. I want you to show me where Jeru Jerusalem is in the Quran without using the tafsir mm. of Ibn Kathir because you said Ibn Kathir is an Israelite mm. when the Israelites did not exist at the time of Muhammad. Mm. It's the Jews that exist who are the, from the tribe of Judah. <laughs> so you've already defeated yourself showing how ignorant you are saying I wanted to enforce exegesis mm. Not understanding that exegesis as a word means the historical narrative and yeah. description. I cannot change history, it's already recorded. Mm. So Shamsi, clarify your statement. Come here, don't be a coward and walk away and have audience with your 14 groupies of uh, Muslims. I'm not intimidated by those boys. I'm not intimidated by anyone. I want you Muslims to come here and talk like rational men. I don't believe in Superman. I definitely don't believe in flying carpets. And I believe that you're an apostate of Islam like I told you before. So when he says that he doesn't believe in God manifesting himself right. in the flesh, I can understand that assumption. But when you tell me that you believe in a magic carpet that can hold 70,000 jinn, and you're talking to me and calling me a clown, I cannot take you seriously.